Greetings folks and welcome to our session. What we're doing here is we're going to show how to create a shaded relief map from a DEM inside Spatial Analysis or the Spatial Analyst extension inside ArcMap which is part of ArcGIS. What we can do is we can go over here to the Customize Extensions and make sure that the Spatial Analyst checkbox is ticked. That lets you access the Spatial Analyst tools. Wonderful. So I have that. And I also just wanted to point out that the old way of kind of finding commands to do things uh, is still there. So for example, you can go over here to Arc Toolbox and look through this big list of tools. Now, if you have been around GIS circles for a while, you probably know where the tools are. But you don't have to look through there anymore because you've got this under Windows, you've got this search and it pops up this, this search box and what we can do is we can look for Hillshade and that lets us actually find that command. We don't have to look through it in a command or directory tree. It's a beautiful thing. So I'm going to go to Hillshade Spatial Analyst. I'm not doing anything with 3D right now. I'm just going to go to Hillshade Spatial Analyst. And what I want to do is create a Hillshade. Now one thing I want to point out before we actually run this and that is you can set the environment so that you can put these results into a certain folder and that folder is actually part of your project. You don't have to keep going out to the default directory anymore. So if I can just, if you'll permit me to show you that for one brief moment, it's under geoprocessing and environments. So if I go to geoprocessing, environments, and then workspace, notice that I've set my workspace to this folder where I have all the other data. I'm not putting it in documents and settings or you know username, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm putting it into the actual project folder so that all of my data will go automatically into that correct folder. Very important, especially when you're working with raster data and you've got a lot of different layers that you're creating as a result of your analysis. Okay, so I've already set my environment, but I just wanted to show you that. Now, now we're ready to run Hillshade. Okay, so we're going to go to Hillshade under Spatial Analyst. I'm not doing anything with 3D, so I don't need to go there. So under Hillshade, what we're going to do is we're going to give it an input raster. My input raster is called DEMUTM. That's just my little note to self that this is in the UTM coordinate space. It's NAD83, Zone 14N, and it's my DEM. It's my Digital Elevation Model. My Digital Elevation Model. So my output raster is going to be called Hillshade and I'm going to call it Hillshade 1. Great. Now my azimuth, north being 0 and also all the way around the compass, north being at 360. 270 is the sun's going to come in from the west. 315, the sun is coming from the northwest. That's the default. And that's what our eyes are used to looking at in these, in these shaded reliefs. So I'm going to take the default of the azimuth being 315. I'm also going to take the default of the altitude of the sun being at 45 degrees above the horizon. And my Z factor, I'm going to take the default to be 1. Great. Ready to go. And what's nice about this is that I, I'm using the original DEM. The, it's very important to look at, when you get the list of, of your rasters available, that you look at what you're, what you're making a shaded relief out of. Because you can make a shaded relief out of anything. Some things that you're making a shaded relief out of uh, don't make any sense. So make sure that you know what the input is. Okay, there's my shaded relief. It looks really good. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit. Yeah, I really like the way that's looking. So I'm going to leave the defaults alone. And notice how this is tilted a little bit. Let me, let me show you that. Zoom to layer. It's tilted off of true north. And that's because we're at the far eastern end of zone 14N. So it actually is true that it's, it's, the, it's the UTM projection. And, and that is accurate. But I just wanted to show you that's why it's, it lo it's looking a little tilted. So that's, that's nothing more to it than that. It's easily done. And by the way, if you've got other kinds of data that you want to shade, let's say you've got a bunch of pH values or some other, some other raster grid, you can make a hill shade out of that. Just ma make sure that you understand how to interpret the resulting hill shade. So it doesn't have to be just an elevation hill shade. All kinds of interesting hill shades you can make to, again, visualize your data in a, in a richer way. In my case, I wanted to visualize the landscape. This is the famous Lewis Hills of, of uh, eastern Nebraska and western Iowa. Over here in the northeast part of my, this is a seven and a half minute topographic chunk of the Earth's surface. 
seven and a half minutes of longitude, seven and a half minutes of latitude. Over here where I've got the cursor right now in the northeast part of the uh, shaded relief is actually the Missouri River floodplain. So I, I've got a good sense of, of the landscape now, which I really didn't have when I was looking at the raw DEM. The raw DEM showed me the elevations, which in my case were from 302 to 419 uh, meters above sea level. It's important to note what elevation units you're using. Very important to note that. The shade relief gives me an additional understanding of what that landscape is like. Thanks.